Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayuame Sale, and today I have Olamide Onifada again, and I have Sandra Eze. Hello. I love ah. your hair. Hi, Olamide. Thank <laughs> you. Ah. Thank you. What so a I, rainy day today. Like it's been raining since Sunday last week, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know the interesting well, thing? The interesting thing, uh, Lamy, it, yeah. okay. I was in shock at three o'clock. Everyone was dark. I said, "Ah, wait, oh, how many was I know, right? <laughs> Everyone went black, oh, you know. Yeah. But there's something interesting happening because I saw Elsie, um, the Tea Time host. She was saying that her area was flooded. Blah blah blah. I just sent her a message on Instagram. I said, "Auntie, you better, you better borrow yourself brain and." Call all the big or guys in your contribute, area. Contribute me. money and, do and fix your road. <laughs> you needed to have seen. Let me. You need to come to my um, my house. What this our road was looking like last year? It was horrible. When I was driving down here, mm -hmm. this is Victoria Island anyway. You know what just resonated in my brain? Lagos, the huh. most expensive slum. I'm telling oh you, God, this that's... is Victoria Island. This, this is the condition what of the world. What do you go to the Victoria it's, Island? It's flooded, Every, actually. Everywhere is... It's so I was saying that this time last year, even in an SUV, the water is to your bonnet. Oh, my goodness. But look yeah. at what we did. In our, we came together. We contributed. They did drainages. And now, I can't believe that I'm driving on dry oh, land. Oh, wow. Like, it doesn't make... That's so what exactly our local government chairman... What are, what so are it the, is actually fixable. It, it is not the terrain. It's not rocket science. No, I thought it was the terrain that it naturally no, comes with the terrain. It's tearing. actually fixable. In fact, the way they did the road, they sl they sloped it to the drainage. If you come to my area, it's dry land now. Sansi has been to my house before. She's she's seen the water. Oh, the, the road, Horrible. road was terrible at the time about and, last um, year. And guys, I'm really conflicted on an issue. What is it? Oh? Whether to buy roasted corn or not. Hey, oh, yeah, it's okay. What's <laughs> that? I, 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 I eat. I have roasted. Battling one. with it. I buy it and I pray. Are you and I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't, don't judge me. Don't leave me. Remember no, the honestly, going I don't know what But to anyway, do. it is really, really conflicting for me. Let honestly, me tell you. I've been battling with it. You don't it. love roasted corn better than I do. Anybody that knows hey, me. Jesus. Roasted corn with coconut and pea. Hey. It's the three combination. Oh my God. But you see this one oh. that is happening with COVID 19. Hey. I am blind, deaf, and dumb to roasted Are you corn. serious? I, mean, I can't be moved. Because the truth is, you don't know Who's the hygiene. Yeah, you don't know the hygiene. You know, I was and going you know to roast that corn. This is how we touch. This is how we touch. You. That's the <laughs> issue. Um, actually, you know, I, I was buying from just one woman. Sir. And she's very particular. Like you do, She's the only person that touches that corn. You have to point. Even, what about so her? if you must, hold on. If you must touch it, she'll give you newspaper. And then you touch it with the paper and stuff Still, so uh, anyway i eat roasted corn <laughs> however i have news you guys okay. i found out cabbage has seeds i have a friend in zambia who plants like cabbage and all that and so when he was like these are cabbage seeds he was just taking us through the whole process i was like hold on cabbages have seeds i, remember, and I was I like never i know i was but so shocked farmer, so i know she would know Ah, uh, yeah, well, I'm telling you because I know you don't know. Let me educate you. <laughs> so now when you pluck the, when you harvest the cabbages, you leave the flower. Now the, the flower grows to maturity and then it has, it, you know, it gives the seeds come up and then you harvest the seeds mm. and then you plant it. But Who knew? Mm. After as, how many years of my life? <clears throat> on uh, Ogudu. That's, that that's swampy my area goodness. when they plant it. But I think it's very important that a lot of people don't know. I didn't you know. know. I didn't I'm know so that. happy. That very soon we will start to grow what we eat and eat what we grow. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I saw it somewhere in the papers, you know, because I mean we are plunging into a deep recession. So at some point, farmers must work and people must start to patronize. You don't need to be importing things anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. So today, here's what we found as today's quote: "Money has no moral opinions." That's from Abraham Polonsky. So today we're focusing on money. Morals wow. and millennials, and we have Pascal Okundo to talk to us. But first, let's take a quick break for what's in the news. We'll be right back. 